Hey, I'm Brian Van, support by trackgear.com, and today we're going to talk about aftermarket rear sets. What do they do, and do you need them on your bike? Okay, on the lift here we have the 2018 Suzuki GSX-R1000 RSTG project bike. Arguably the greatest motorcycle ever produced, but we'll save that for another video. During this project, I installed several different kits of aftermarket rear sets. And that's something we're going to dive into as we get a little deeper into this video. What I want to open up with talking about is what do aftermarket rear sets offer that your OEM foot controls don't, and why should you consider installing them on your bike? In one word, adjustability, okay? Your OEM foot controls, using these as an example, while they look nice, and I'll say this, the OEMs really did a lot to improve the aesthetics of their foot controls over the years. These look nice, the riding experience with them wasn't bad, but as we all know, we're all different shapes and sizes. The dude holding the camera right now, I think he's like six feet, eight inches tall. I'm 5'11", okay? Different shoe size. And we have a whole spectrum of riders that are going to be riding this bike. So your one size fits all solution for controls is not always the right way to go. If you can take and dial in the ergonomics of this bike to best suit you, it enhances your overall riding experience. The more fun you have, the more return on investment you're getting. So now with the foot pegs, right, with the rear sets, what you pick up with your aftermarket stuff, I would say the primary benefit is the amount of adjustability that they offer. Using the kit that's on here right now, the Vortex V3 2.0s, right, I'm able to move this peg front or back using this cam here, I can raise it, I can lower it. I can basically put it wherever it best suits me. When I install a set of rear sets, what I'll do is I'll ride around a little bit with the initial adjustment, fine tune until I really find that sweet spot. Also, focusing on the brake lever, most of the kits, this kit definitely does, they allow you to reposition this so that you're able to change the distance between the foot peg and the toe piece for the shifter and or the brake lever. When you look at the OEM stuff, there's no adjustment here whatsoever. These are in a fixed position. The position the engineers feel is going to be best suited for most of the riders or the rider who the ergonomics were designed around, right? And that's not always, like I said earlier, the best solution for every single rider. Other important points to note, your OEM pegs are going to fold up like this. In the event of a crash, I can't tell you how many times I've seen a fixed foot peg like you're gonna find on almost every aftermarket rear set kit save an exhaust in a crash or at least dramatically reduce the amount of damage to it, okay? If you're racing or you're doing track days, odds are if you're installing rear sets, you're probably doing one or the other or both. That in itself can pay huge dividends if you're not destroying an exhaust system every time you have a tip over because the bottom line is it happens. Another huge advantage of the aftermarket stuff is serviceability. If you're at the track, you ride and you have a tip over, like I said earlier, it happens. And odds are you already know that. When looking at this OEM rear set, the foot peg in the bracket, right? If you crash and this is damaged here on the bracket, that's it, you're done. Yes, technically you can replace the foot peg, but any damage to this cast bracket and you're done. Right, you're gonna need a whole piece. All the aftermarket stuff 
is going to allow for replacement foot pegs, toe pieces, brake levers. The overwhelming majority of the time, you're gonna find the main bracket that bolts to the frame is going to come out of the crash relatively unscathed. Here is one of Max Band's many crashed Vortex foot pegs that I replaced as we were racing throughout the 2020 season. The bottom line is, like I said, it happens. And these are easy and quick to replace. We travel to the track with enough spares to get this done. And what you'll find is for a lot of the common rear sets out there, the Vortex, the Woodcrafts, right? Those being the two most common in the industry. Odds are someone at that racetrack, someone in that paddock is gonna have a part they'd probably be able to loan you if you don't have a spare to get you back out on the track. Looking at this Vortex kit here, this is how they come pre-packaged when you buy a complete kit. Each one of these pieces that you see here is available individually. For this brand, we're able to break it out online. For other brands, if you wanna buy replacement pieces, just give us a ring and we can make that happen for you. But you can see here, the foot peg is an individual piece. That little toe piece here on the brake and the shifter, individual piece, very easy to replace. That is a huge advantage over the OEM stuff. As I said earlier, this project was unique. For the first time ever, what I did is I installed multiple brands of rear set on a spike, and I went out and I rode it. I installed a TAC, I installed Litec, Driven Racing, Vortex. I did not do the Woodcraft on the spike, but I have had Woodcraft on previous motorcycles, so I can speak firsthand to the experience and adjustability that you'll enjoy from Woodcraft as well. When we come back, Caleb is gonna be showing you bits and pieces of different installs that we've done, mostly on this bike. For the Woodcraft, I believe we're gonna be showing the most recent install that we did for their rear sets on Jimmy's 2018 BMW S1000RR. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of how I see the brand, the features and benefits I feel that really make them stand out from the rest, and then what the overall riding experience with that brand is to help you choose the right set for your bike. Attack Performance rear sets, they're made right here in the US. The people behind the brand have decades of racing at the highest level here in the US. The dude actually designed his own MotoGP bike, okay, back when they were running the CRTs. Richard is a really smart guy and it shows in his parts. They offer a very high level, perhaps the highest level of adjustability. A great experience while riding. I rode on those on the Gixxer. Really solid feel. Tremendous traction from the foot pegs. Replacement parts. For attack performance replacement parts, we're not able to list those on the website, but they are readily available to us. All you have to do is reach out. Driven Racing rear sets, also made right here in the US. The TT rear set design differs a little from the others that we're showing you. The main bracket has pre-drilled holes that allow you to move the foot peg around. That is the method of adjustment. There are some advantages to that. While on the surface it may look to be a little less adjustable, one thing it does do is it brings the foot peg itself in a little closer to the frame of the motorcycle. Decreasing that distance can increase the amount of available lean angle. What I found with these rear sets also is that the provided adjustments were more than enough to get the rear sets in a position where I wanted them while riding. Traction from the foot pegs, like the attack rear sets, is extremely high. Replacement parts for these are not listed on our website, but they are readily available. All you have to do is contact us directly and we can facilitate any part you would need. Litec rear sets are made in Italy. These are stunning. When you get these in your hand, right, it feels like you have a piece of a MotoGP bike. I enjoyed riding in them. They looked fantastic on the motorcycle. They have a very unique adjustment system, right? Caleb's gonna be showing you clips while I'm doing the voiceover right now, and you're gonna get an idea for how that differs from all the other rear sets that we installed on the big Suzuki. I enjoyed the experience of riding in these. Like I said, they look absolutely gorgeous. It was the R version, which was the more expensive of the two 
that we installed on the Suzuki, and they looked just great. Replacement parts. Of all the brands that we're talking about in this overview right now, I would say the replacement parts for this brand would be the most challenging to get. They're not listed on our website. They are available to us. You will have to contact us directly, and we'll get back to you with an ETA. Vortex Racing Rear Sets, also made here in the U.S. That's the brand that we're running on my big Suzuki right now, and also running on Max Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com, Moto America Junior Cup, Kawasaki Ninja 400. That's right, we are title sponsor for Junior Cup in 2021, something we're pretty proud of. The strengths of these rear sets, right? Tremendous adjustability, great feel while riding, and Durability while crashing, ease of replacement parts after crashing is something that I would say is a standout feature. I've got some experience with that, obviously, taking Max Racing on the Ninja 400 and even the R3. And I've been able to get the bike back together in a short period of time and get him back on track by having spare foot pegs and brackets and spare toe pieces. I believe that is a strength for these rear sets. Those replacement parts are available on our website. You go to the rear set listing itself, there will be a spare part tab, and each one of those pieces is listed individually so you're able to order them online. If there's anything that you don't see there, reach out to us. They are all available to us and we can get you taken care of in short order. Woodcraft rear sets, also made here in the US. Woodcraft is very unique in that their owner, Eric Wood, is a very successful, very fast motorcycle racer on top of being a designer and an engineer for sport bike parts. So what you get with the Woodcraft stuff is you get parts that get right to the point. Eric takes everything that he's learned throughout his decades of road racing and he puts those into the parts that he designs and manufactures over there at Woodcraft. With their rear sets, what you're gonna find is you're going to find a simplistic design that offers the right amount of adjustability, right? They literally get right to the point. While we don't have their spare parts listed on our website, every single piece, right down to the smallest fastener or washer, is available for replacement. All you have to do is reach out to us directly, and we're able to order those up for you and get you back on the track quickly. As you'll find with Vortex, when it comes to spares that are available at the racetrack in the paddock, the two brands that I find people historically are using most often are going to be Vortex and Woodcraft. For that reason, if you don't have all the spares you need, there's a strong possibility somebody else is going to be able to help get you back on track because they have some of the pieces that may be required. Experience while riding. I didn't install these on this Suzuki, but I have installed them on numerous other bikes preceding this particular build. And I can tell you the experience while riding in the Woodcraft stuff is excellent. Tremendous feel, accurate shifting, great braking feel. Eric does a good job with his parts. So there you have it. I think it's a pretty solid overview and I think it should help answer a lot of questions, especially for the newer riders. The world has forever changed due to the coronavirus. Notice I have a mask on my motorcycle still to keep everyone safe. And for that reason, we saw so many new riders come into the sport in 2020. We hope that trend continues in 2021. And we hope you all find the latest video series that we've put out there really focusing on overviews for things that experienced riders take for granted. We hope you find that stuff helpful. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm here to make sure you get the most out of every dollar you spend on performance parts for your bike.